Hi everyone, welcome back to Cruise Blog. This is Haley, and today we're going to be talking about my first experience with Carnival Cruises and 13 things that surprised me. Let's get started. Over the past two years, I've sailed on multiple cruise lines, including Norwegian Cruise Line, Royal Caribbean, Margaritaville, Disney Cruise Line, and even Viking Cruises. These experiences have given me a broad view of what the cruise industry offers. However, there was one major cruise brand that I had not yet tried, Carnival Cruises. As one of the biggest players in the industry, Carnival has a reputation that precedes it. Many people associate the line with budget-friendly fun. But I was curious, what would a Carnival cruise actually be like? How would it compare to my experiences with other cruise lines? Would the food be good? Would the atmosphere be too much for me? I had so many questions going into it. For my first voyage with Carnival, I embarked on a three-night cruise aboard Carnival Valor, departing from New Orleans. Originally, this was supposed to be a four-night sailing with a port stop in Mexico, but our itinerary was cut short due to a hurricane affecting the Gulf region. As a result, the cruise was reduced to three nights, and all the passengers boarded one day later than planned. Instead of heading to Mexico, we spent our time during the whole cruise at sea. Joining me on this trip was my friend and fellow rider, Allie, who is a seasoned Carnival cruiser. She has sailed on several of Carnival's ships, and she was the perfect guide for my first Carnival experience. Allie was eager to show me the ins and outs of Carnival cruising, and I couldn't wait to see what the trip had in store for us. First up of the 13 things that surprised me was the patriotic-themed ship. One thing I didn't expect prior to our cruise was discovering that Carnival Cruise Line has themed ships in its fleet, and Carnival Valor is perhaps one of the most distinctively themed. True to its name, Carnival Valor celebrates the valor and courage of the servicemen and women of the United States military. From the stateroom hallways to the dining rooms and public spaces, the entire ship is decked out in patriotic decor. The ship's theme certainly adds a certain charm, making it stand out in the Carnival fleet. Next up, eager and enthusiastic guests. One of the first things that stood out to me on Carnival Valor was how enthusiastic and engaged the guests were. Certain activities or events may be sparsely attended on many of the cruises I've been on, with other lines. Trivia games might have a few loyal participants, and theme parties could sometimes feel like they're missing a bit of energy. But Carnival is different. Every activity, from themed parties to trivia games, had plenty of guests excited to take part. During sea days, the entertainment options were well attended, and I noticed that guests were genuinely interested in engaging with what was happening on board. Even the simplest activities like trivia or poolside games drew in crowds. This created an infectious energy throughout the ship. The atmosphere was always lively, and that sense of fun was present from morning until night. Next up, mealtime excitement. Dining on a cruise is always an event, but I had no idea how much of a spectacle it could be until I experienced a meal on board Carnival Valor. One of the most surprising elements of Carnival's dining experience is the mealtime entertainment. During our first dinner, an announcement came on over the loudspeaker, and Allie gave me a heads up that something special was about to happen. Sure enough, within moments, the dining room staff burst into performance, singing and dancing with incredible enthusiasm. Some of the crew members even hopped onto tables. This was not the formal, quiet dinner service that I have been used to on other lines. It was pure fun. I found it amazing that the dining staff could deliver such energy after spending long hours serving hundreds of guests. Their excitement was infectious, and it was clear they genuinely enjoyed being part of the entertainment. This wasn't just a one-off event either. Every dinner seemed to have its own fun moments. Next up, old school boarding requirements. A small but noteworthy surprise came before we even stepped foot on the ship. Carnival requires passengers to bring printed boarding passes to board. On other cruise lines, I've become accustomed to the convenience of using digital passes, either through the cruise line's app or a screenshot on my phone. Not so with Carnival. Each passenger must have a physical printed copy of their boarding pass, and those passes cannot be printed on the same sheet of paper or double-sided. Each guest needs their own pass in hand upon arrival for embarkation. This was a bit of a throwback for me, and I have to admit I wasn't fully prepared for it. Allie and I had printed our boarding passes on one page, so we had to get separate passes printed at the port once we arrived. Thankfully, the port agents were able to print smaller individual passes for us without issue, but it is something I recommend preparing for ahead of time in order to avoid delays. Next up, sail away energy and eager participation. 
Carnival has long marketed itself as the fun cruise line, and I was curious to see if that reputation holds up. It certainly did during the Sail Away Party, which had more energy than I've ever seen on a Sail Away event. It was one of the most well-attended Sail Away parties I've experienced, rivaling only Disney Cruise Line in terms of participation. The deck was packed with guests ready to dance and celebrate the start of their vacation. The DJ played lively music, and people of all ages were out on the deck, dancing, smiling, and soaking in the festive atmosphere. The sheer number of participants was incredible, and it set the tone for the rest of the cruise. Carnival clearly knows how to kick things off with a bang, and that high energy carried on throughout the sailing. Next up, delicious complimentary food. Before sailing with Carnival, I'd heard mixed reviews about their food. Given the line's reputation as a budget-friendly option, I'll be honest, I didn't have the highest expectations going in, but I was pleasantly surprised by how much I enjoyed the food on board Carnival Valor. Each meal we had in the main dining room was delicious, and I found that the food quality was comparable to what I've experienced on lines like Norwegian Cruise Line and Royal Caribbean. One standout item was the molten chocolate lava cake, which was available every night. It was perfectly cooked every time. Rich, warm, and full of gooey chocolate goodness. A pro tip from Allie, you can order peanut butter on the side of your molten lava cake. I tried it and it added a delicious twist to an already amazing dessert. Next up, spacious stateroom hallways. One of the first things that stuck out to me about Carnival Valor was the layout of the stateroom hallways. After boarding the ship, Allie and I made our way to our interior cabin, and I couldn't help but notice how wide the hallways were. This may sound like a small detail, but it's something that stood out to me compared to my previous cruise experiences. On most other cruise ships, stateroom hallways tend to be quite narrow. You might feel like you need to flatten yourself against the wall when passing someone, especially if they're wheeling a suitcase. This extra width made it easier to navigate, especially during busy embarkation and disembarkation times when guests move luggage to and from their cabins. We stayed in an interior stateroom, which is often the most budget-friendly option on board. This cabin itself was small but functional, with everything we needed for a short sailing. Given the price point, I was not expecting luxury, but I was pleasantly surprised by how comfortable the room was. The wide hallways were just the beginning of the unexpected perks that came with our budget-friendly stateroom experience. Next up, plenty of outdoor deck space. Sea days are a staple of any cruise, and one of the things I look forward to most is relaxing on the outdoor decks with a good book or simply soaking in the sunshine. On some ships, however, finding a free lounge chair on a sea day can feel like a game of musical chairs with guests fighting for an available spot, especially on warm weather itineraries. Therefore, I was pleasantly surprised to find that Carnival Valor had plenty of outdoor seating, even during sea days when the demand was high. Whether you wanted to sit by the pool, relax on a higher deck, or even find a quiet spot with a view of the ocean, there was ample space available. This made it easy to enjoy the ship's outdoor spaces without having to wake up at the crack of dawn to claim a spot. Next up, exceptional specialty dining. Allie and I decided to use our onboard credit to treat ourselves to dinner at Scarlet Steakhouse, one of the ship's specialty dining venues. While I've had great specialty dining experiences on other cruise lines, I wasn't sure how Scarlet Steakhouse on board Carnival Valor would compare. I was wrong to underestimate it. This meal was truly outstanding. I opted for the surf and turf, which included a perfectly cooked filet mignon and a generous portion of lobster. Ali went with the filet mignon as well, and we both agreed that the quality of the food rivaled high-end steakhouses we visited on other cruise ships. The sides were equally impressive. The baked mac and cheese in particular was a standout dish. The entire meal cost us $49 per person and included one appetizer, one main entree, two sides, and a dessert. A great value for a specialty dining experience. Next up, passengers of all ages. Carnival has a reputation for being the fun cruise line, and with that reputation comes a bit of a stereotype, that it's mostly for younger passengers looking for a party atmosphere. I'll admit, I was curious to see if this would hold true on my sailing. To my surprise, the demographic on board Carnival Valor was much more diverse than I expected. While there were certainly younger passengers and groups of friends having a great time, I also saw plenty of families with young children, multi-generational groups, and older couples. The variety of ages of passengers added to the sense that Carnival truly is a cruise line for everyone, given the right mindset. This mix of passengers gave the ship a welcoming vibe. Whether you are looking to join the lively sailaway party or just relax on a deck with a drink, 
there was space for every kind of cruiser. Next up, diverse food offerings. One of the most pleasant surprises on board Carnival Valor was the variety and quality of the complimentary food offerings. In addition to the traditional buffet options, the ship featured several smaller food stands that provided a range of quick and tasty bites. One of the Carnival classic places we tried was Guy's Burger Joint, a staple on many Carnival ships. Allie told me it's a fan favorite, and after trying it for myself, I can see why. The burgers were juicy and flavorful, and the toppings bar allowed you to customize your meal to your liking. For a casual poolside meal, it was perfect. Another highlight was the Blue Iguana Cantina, where we enjoyed breakfast burritos one morning. This spot quickly became one of my favorites for its flavorful offerings and quick service. Plus, it's open early on disembarkation day, making it a great option for a final breakfast before leaving the ship in the morning. Throughout the sailing, we also sampled pizza, sandwiches, and more from the buffet and food stands. The variety of options made it easy to find something quick and tasty without having to sit down for a full meal. Next up, friendly and engaged crew. One of the hallmarks of any great cruise experience is the quality of the crew, and Carnival certainly did not disappoint in this regard. The crew on board Carnival Valor were some of the friendliest and most engaging I've encountered. From our dinner waitstaff to our cabin steward, everyone we interacted with went out of their way to make sure we had an enjoyable experience. Our stateroom attendant learned our names on the first day and greeted us with a smile every time we crossed paths. He even left cute towel animals in our room each night, which added a fun and personal touch to our stay. The dining staff, especially during the nightly performances, were full of energy and enthusiasm. Despite the long hours they work, it was clear that they took pride in making the guest experience as enjoyable as possible. Their positive attitude and willingness to engage with passengers truly made a difference in our overall experience. Next up, easy access to southern ports. One of the best parts of this cruise was its departure from New Orleans, a port that's not only fun to visit, but was also very easy for us to reach. Living relatively close to New Orleans meant that Allie and I could drive to the port, which saved us so much hassle and expense from flying. We were able to leave in the morning and board the ship the same day, avoiding the need for an overnight hotel stay at the port the night before our cruise. This ease of access made the whole experience feel more relaxed, and it's a big reason why I'd consider sailing from a southern port like New Orleans again in the future. My first Carnival cruise was full of surprises, from the lively atmosphere on board to the excellent food and friendly crew. While every cruise line has its own unique personality, Carnival lives up to its reputation as the fun cruise line, but with more substance than I initially expected. The food, entertainment, and overall vibe exceeded my expectations, and I can see why so many people are loyal to the brand. Carnival might not be for everyone, but for the right kind of cruiser, someone looking for a fun, engaging, and budget-friendly vacation, it's a fantastic option. This cruise showed me that Carnival has a lot to offer its guests. And that concludes our video on my very first Carnival cruise experience and 13 things that surprised me about this voyage. We sincerely hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that if you did, you would consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Drop us a comment down below and tell us your favorite thing about Carnival Cruises. Until next time, happy sailing!